Victoria is renowned for its world-class wineries and some of the finest can be found here in the breathtaking Yarra Valley. Yes, the numbers don't lie. Amongst the beautiful scenery here, there are 55 world-class wineries and it really is the climate that makes all the difference. It's warmer than Burgundy, but it's cooler than Bordeaux and that makes for a wide range of wines. And if you come here for a day trip, you can get to sample them. Just head 30 miles northeast of Melbourne and you'll come across some vineyards such as Domaine Chandon, the Australian winery of French champagne giant Moet in Chandon. In uh, 1986, uh, Moet Chandon actually wanted to expand their uh, global estates. Already uh, they had a winery in Argentina, one in Brazil and one in California. And so they came to Australia and specifically to the Yarra Valley uh, throughout their search, looking for a cool climate site that produced really high quality fruit. And the Yarra Valley at that stage was actually quite a, a young, sort of vibrant uh, wine growing community. We've got the mountains, we're in the foothills of the Great Dividing Range. We've got the Great uh, Southern Ocean, really cold body of water, about, oh, I guess, 150 kilometres away. And that really influences our weather. And it was this site that proved to be the, the best spot to produce high quality Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier and Chardonnay for producing high quality sparkling wines. Here at the Greenpoint um, property, we actually have our own wine bar. Um, we've also got our Greenpoint Room restaurant, and it's, we want people to come here and enjoy our wines in the way that they're made um, to be enjoyed, so to enjoy them with food, and we encourage that for our sparkling wines and our still wines. But at the same time, a very Australian thing is to come and visit and taste the wares. So our Greenpoint Room wine bar, you can just stand at the bar, um, there's a selection of wines um, to taste, and we'll feature different cuvées that are of very limited um, production. But one of the things that's important to know is that in making sparkling wines we're making very delicate um, wines and, and we don't actually serve coffee or tea um, because the aromas of coffee are incredibly strong. I love coffee but um, I don't have coffee at the same time I'm having a, a lovely glass of fine bubbles so it's one of the things we do just to make sure we're focusing on the right things for us which is the wine. Mm -hmm.